Hello and welcome to another one of our Samsara Comics video tutorials. Today we're going to be taking a look at a piece of fan art that I made. Um, this was a picture of the Powerpuff Girls. Um, it was made completely digitally. Uh, I used first Manga Studio uh, and then I finished it in Photoshop. And what I'm going to do is just do a quick walkthrough today to show you uh, all the different steps in the process. Um, Obviously, the Powerpuff Girls were not created by me. Uh, they were created by the fantastically talented Craig McCracken. Um, and I assume that he holds the copyright to them, although um, it may also be held by Cartoon Network. Probably should have known that before I started this. Um, anyway, so I want to give uh, credit to him. Um, I'm also I'm going to be going through uh, my coloring method today is mostly what you're going to see. Um, which is something that, like most people, I've pieced together from a hundred different sources. But in particular, I want to uh, I want to give credit to uh, to Omar Dogan on Deviant Art. Uh, he's a very talented uh, manga artist, and he posted a tutorial, a coloring tutorial, um, a couple, I assume, a couple months or maybe a year ago, um, and I found it really helpful. It was kind of a, a different approach than I had been using, and I've been. I've been trying it out, sort of a modified version of his way ever since, and and I'm really liking the results. So, uh, if you if you like what you see here, I advise you to go to uh, Omar Dogan at Deviant Art and uh, check out his tutorial and see how uh, someone extremely talented does it. Now, um, all right, so on to this tutorial. Um, what you're looking at right now is uh, is my first thumbnail. Now, this is a very spontaneous piece. I bought the Powerpuff Girls DVD, the whole the whole series um, for my five year old, and and I ended up watching pretty much all of it with her, and and really liked it. And they were gone for the day, and I decided to do a, a Powerpuff Girls piece. And this was my initial idea, recorded very very quickly, uh, as you can see. Nothing uh, fancy here. It's very scribbly, and and the the only real idea I had at the beginning um, was just to um, create a good sense of depth with uh, different sizing and overlapping. So here I have uh, Blossom in the front and she's going to be the biggest and the nearest to us and then uh, we have Bubbles here and then Buttercup here and I just wanted to overlap them and change their sizes and create a sense of depth. As you know the Powerpuff Girls is drawn in a very very simple style and yet there's a lot of uh, feeling of depth to a lot of the work um, because of using these simple depth cues. So this was just my basic idea, very, very simple, sort of the three of them flying over the city. Um, now that I, once I had this sketched in, which took me probably, you know, a minute or two, um, I said, well, you know, there needs to be some kind of background. Um, here was my first idea for a background. Um, kind of hard to see with the Powerpuff Girls there. But basically, this is my favorite villain. They they call him him on the show, and I just thought, well, I'll have I'll have Townsville here, just kind of scratch that in, and then and I'll have him up above. So that was my idea. It, it ended up changing a little bit throughout the process. You'll see, but that was the basic idea. Um, the next thing I did, and unfortunately, I've lost this layer now. Um, but what I did was I went over these with my in another layer. The way you do that in Manga Studio, very simply, is just change the layer to blue. Um, you can make it a lot lighter by changing the opacity. Um, and then you create a new layer on top. Um, you know, get your pencil and you can go in and this is with my mouse, but um, and, and you can do sort of tighter pencils on top. Obviously when I do this uh, to actually draw, I use my Wacom tablet and so it, it actually looks good as opposed to this just moving around with the wrong hand with my mouse. So anyway, but I, I've lost that layer, so I don't have the finished pencils to show you. They, they weren't very fancy anyway, but um, I can go up. I think it's this layer. Nope. This is how the Powerpuff Girls actually ended up in the picture. Um, you can see I brought bubbles down a little bit so that she's overlapped a little by Blossom. That adds to the depth, and then Buttercup is here. And there's a real uh, clear difference in size. You have closest, you know, medium distance further away. So they make kind of like one, you know, picture all together. And, um, and there's that sense of going back into space. 
Um, now going back to my going back to my uh, here let's change you to color going back to my background idea it was pretty sloppy um, you know once I looked at it I said well I maybe um, you know here I have sort of the the buildings kind of looming up behind them but I ended up going in a different direction um, and, and doing a background a little bit more like this okay and what I did here is I used uh, I used the ruler, uh, the perspective ruler on Manga Studio. It's a very handy tool. Um, what you can do is you can create a perspective ruler. You can put your your vanishing points wherever you want them. Here you can see I have my horizon line is high above the girls, so we're looking kind of down on them. And here are my two side points, and then I have a, a three point perspective here. So the vanishing points go, the, the buildings, the uprights on the buildings go down. So if we actually zoom in and take a look at it, you know, this is what it looks like. It gives me kind of a, a 3D look to the buildings. Um, and just when I was drawing these, I, I just kind of just kind of drew them in. They're very simple, cartoony style. They're just kind of blocks back here. Here they've got windows and stuff and some brickwork and, you know, and that's, that's fine. Um, you know, I'm careful to avoid tangents. You know, here you see the corner of this building lining up with this window, which is kind of a tangent, not a, not a bad one. But if I had slid this window over so it lined up with the corner of this building, um, that would really sort of flatten things out. And so, um, actually, let's take a look up here. These are the outlines of the buildings. Now, there are parts of them are missing because of where the Powerpuff Girls are. And also... Um, where here you can see put him in this is him in the background and so with them gone here you can see now um, this, these are just the outlines of the buildings okay and here's where I'm really careful to avoid tangents anything anything lining up I always want lines running into the sides of lines and you can see that going on here so it gives everything is sort of nicely overlapping and it gives a real progression of depth um, I also make these lines uh, bold uh, when they're near to us and getting thinner as they go into the background. That helps with the depth perception. Um, and here you can see with the inside lines, um, I didn't do this really strongly, but I did it sort of on a more subtle level, but the inside lines are a little bit thinner than the outside lines. So every building has sort of a thick boundary around it, and that, that creates sort of a good sense of form there. So this as we pull back a little bit. This is a finished image in black and white. 